Welcome to April's Legal Challenge. Today's problem is verifying an alien dictionary. In an alien language, surprisingly, they also use English lowercase letters, but possibly in a different order. The order of the alphabet is some permutation of lowercase letters. So here it is. We have all the characters from A to Z, but it's going to be reorganized in some uh, different order. So given the sequence of words here written in the alien language and the order of the alphabet, we turn true if and only if the given words are sorted lexicographically in this alien language. So luckily we have this order string to tell us what the order should be. And we have our words, right? So really all we have to do is figure out a way to convert these words into some sort of um, list of numbers. Then we can calculate whether they're in order or not. And we can just do that. We don't even need to sort it. We could just look behind to see if this letter that comes previously is less than this word here. But we have to convert these into uh, some manner that we could actually do that do that conversion right with this order. So here's what I'm going to do. Say that we had, I don't know, A, B, C, or D, E, F, or something like that. And we had our list of, of letters like this. I'm going to convert these into um, a, num a list of numbers. And we can do that by looking at the string and saying, well, this here represents one, this represents two, three, four, five, six, seven, and then uh, convert the word into a list of numbers. Luckily, Python is able to figure out um, which one is greater or less using a list of numbers. So once we convert it into numbers, it becomes fairly trivial to compare uh, the previous one to see if it's actually in sorted order. So uh, once we check that, if we can go through our entire list of words and it's all in order, then we can return a true, otherwise we can return a false. So what I'll do is first create a lookup and I'm gonna to have to go through the index numbers as well as the character inside of order. And we'll just create a dictionary with the character being the key and the index number being the value. So next, once we have our lookup, what we just need to do is look through our words so we'll say 4w in words. Um, what I'll do is create some sort of temp words here. So I'll call this words, uh, I don't know, words2. And we'll first initialize a empty list. And I'm going to uh, go through all the characters inside of the words. So 4c in w. We are going to add to our list the index number of this character. So this would be lookup. C. So now we're going to have a list of all the numbers and let's add that to our words too. So now that we have this list here, we can just run through that. And uh, what I'll have to do is I'm going to use index numbers so we can look previously. I'll just say 4w in length of, or I'm sorry, in range of 1 through length of words 2. And let's look previously to see if uh, if uh, this wouldn't be word, right? This would be index number. So if words two i minus one, if at any point this is greater than words two i, that means this is false. It's not sorted in correct order. Uh, otherwise, we can just return a true here. And luckily, if we had something like ABC, ABCD. Um, Python will know like this one should be less than this. So, so it'll, it'll automatically figure that out for us. So let's see if this works. Uh, not enough values to check, okay. All right, I need to enumerate this. Okay, it looks like it's working, so let's submit that. And there we go, accepted. Now, time complexity-wise, it's going to be uh, n being the number of words and m being the number of characters. Like, let's just say n times m equals o, and o is going to be uh, the total number of characters inside of our words. That's the time complexity because we have to go through it twice, but uh, we only need to do it just one straight time through. Uh, so we do use the same amount of space. Uh, we could avoid that. We don't actually need to have this temp 
list here, we could calculate um, at, at each character if the number is less than one another, but then you're going to have to have like an extra condition here to make sure that the lengths, let's check to see if, if, if like ABC and ABC are the same to make sure that this length is less. Uh, so I didn't really like that. Uh, sure, you do use constant space by doing it that way, but I uh, felt like this was a little more readable. So I'm just going to go with this uh, because time complexity wise, it ends up being the same. Okay, uh, that's it. So thanks for watching my channel. Remember, do not trust me. I know nothing.